Connecting the dots. It is a good forum. We are going through exciting times in Slango. Two bold vision. Slango as a gateway to Asia. That's one. Number two, we want to be a smart state by the year 2025. The movement of our buses and mind you, Slango's buses are free. We track the number of our compactors. That's our second initiative. We take into circular economy, making sure that Slango is green. Initiative from the state to make sure that each Slavonian has a home. So affordable housing becomes a key drive for us as well to make sure that we can and provide the necessary homes. And hopefully, if we are successful, we can replicate this model to the other states in Malaysia. Efforts that ensure ease of physical connectivity through multimodal options that is logistics, transportation, technology, biotech and so on. The Selangor Menteri Besar has just recently announced next year's budget and it is found on the philosophy of simulating the economy, empowering people and prospering the state. Joining this network, we could remain focused on our task and continue to identify the common issues and find appropriate solutions for everyone. The Ministry of Transport is currently in the process of drafting the national transport policy, it will set the blueprint for how we want to ensure better optimization. If you look at the vehicle uh, transportation statistics, uh, cars and motorcycles, they are almost similar. The challenge is not just to get people out of cars, but more important is to get people out of motorcycles. The only way to do that, uh, to ensure that you know, the public transport is as convenient as the water bike. And we find that 57% of our um, exports go by, by value, go by uh, maritime routes, 28% go by air, and the remainder goes by road. When you talk about aviation safety, it's actually very, very good. And what makes it attractive for an investor? It is a cluster of uh, biotechnology companies. The maintenance of the part of the industrial area you look at Malaysia is highest. Long grass, potholes, you know, lorries coming in, uh, accidents happening. So the maintenance part is not there. I think this is where the state can play a role. Yeah. In housing, we have got what we call the strata development. In other words, you've got a gated area and everybody contributes a fee to maintaining the area. So this is something I think uh, moving forward. I think we have very noble intentions. Uh, Ministry of Transport, is the federal government basically, and of course, one spot ground to be uh, top 10 uh, port in, in the world by the year 2030. It's not about serving 32 million Malaysians, but actually to be a regional gateway, to be uh, serving 620 million ASEAN population. That should be our game. The ease of doing business. I think uh, policy making, we are victims of how we do things, the legacy issues and all that. So flip flops, uncertainties, decision making without engagement with the, with the players. It's something that uh, foreign investors and uh, international uh, business community really change. Yeah? Uh, basically, it's, it's an emergency app for you to activate when you encounter any difficulties when you travel in our highways. It's called ProIntas app. The, the PBTs, the uh, local authorities, uh, perhaps uh, via the state government, can look into elements of how to integrate the, um, the so-called features of traffic management into how we can integrate with our system and our network to provide a more, I would say, efficient traffic management, uh, seamless uh, uh, travel. Their safety, their security. These are systems that has already been invested, okay, by the federal government, and it can also be extended to the states, to the various agencies, to other organizations, where we can see how actually when we do any systems, we work closely with the users. In the end, you want to know what is the needs of the users, what are the needs of the stakeholders. You know, the government, the agencies, everyone, everyone in the ecosystem. <laughs>